I'm Ian McIntosh, you're watching Behind the Line via Grek. There's our traverse. I think I'm gonna take a rope on this one. It looks a little placky. Oh, we're just uh, getting across this super exposed bit. And there's a solid 300 meter, 900 feet of exposure right here. So our guy Joe Valone's got Johnny on rappel, or on belay I should say, out here. They're making their way across, making a bit of a highway for the rest of us so we can all get out there. Yesterday we skied the pan, which is your classic uh, Le Grav line. It's the one that you got to do when you're here. And then, you know, right after that, Joe mentioned that we could try and go ski the Agrec. It's the same entrance as the pan, but instead of going down the pan, you traverse back above all the exposure and through this pepper field that's super shallow and really gnarly. Given the amount of snow that was in the traverse and how much time it takes to get into this thing, it's just like, it's not a group run. Um, so Ian stepped up to the plate. I can't get through there, but maybe right below me. A little bit of a crux right here. I feel better about it if I get turned around. Here's my crux move. All right. <laughs> I don't suggest my way. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Okay, uh, I gotta make another kick turn. Kick, buddy. Yeah, dude. You got a handhold. So I guess like you want to call it that. <laughs> Walking on the chippies. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is why I love the drop. <laughs> Once we finally got in there, the line itself isn't a gimme, and the outrun has a couple shruns in it, and there's a mandatory little cliff in the middle. For right now, I'm just gripped. Mac is gripped. <laughs> I don't believe him. I don't believe that. It's bony. You almost want to read it. You can't just like fly over. I can't just fly. Yeah. I'm gonna ski this top bit. Then I gotta slow right down. Cut through the chocolate chips on the right, over to the right flank. Three, two, one. Yeah, buddy. I got in there and I knew I was ahead of my slough, but I also knew it was right on my end. So I decided last second to air the cliff. And once I landed, it was like being shot out of a cannon. And I could barely scrub a little bit more speed as I rocked out the bottom. God, I near chicken. I think he saw me ski it and he was like, oh man, I want to rip this thing too. And so he went for it. Woohoo! Fortunately, it was Pow down there and he was all good and I was stoked to see it because you know not every guide really wants to charge hard. That's why I'm there with him because he's the same kind of guy. He's like, I love it too, this is great, you know, and it was a really cool experience and what a great way to start off the Le Grave trip with our first Bluebird Day.